That agency, it's more than an agency. People come for cocktails, they come for David's apps. I don't like to tell David that he's not a very good cook. I'm an amazing cook. They love my food. They always come for my food. It's a food stylist. I can't let this behavior go on anymore. Tomorrow is Judy Inc's 10th anniversary. We're a hair and makeup agency. We make the fashion industry and the advertising celebrity world connect. And what better way to celebrate than to have a cocktail party at the agency. I'm a fabulous cook and I love to entertain. So I thought instead of just having a pre-party at some restaurant or some bar, why don't I host it here at the agency? As long as he's not in the kitchen and cooking, he's the greatest boss in the world. This is my famous shrimp dip. You know, we had a hard week. Why don't I let them taste some of the goodies for tomorrow? This actually cooks the shrimp. Who knew? You don't even have to cook shrimp, you just put lemon juice on, it's amazing. With David as our fearless leader, um, it's always great because he's got such an extreme personality that it always helps add a great energy. Ooh, this is a big one. It's for the special client. That agency, it's more than an agency. People come for cocktails, they come for David's apps. This will make it easy for rolling with the spare guy. Some salt, because that, it acts like a glue. Done. And healthy. Did you add Maybe salt to right. prosciutto? <laughs> they hold it together. This is so salt. <laughs> the saltiest meat ever. <laughs> I never taste my own food. As tempting as it is, it's bad luck. David just comes in and does his own thing, and we gotta love it, and either get sick after or go missing for two days because the food wasn't so great. I should do a cookbook. Just like David's finger food or something. We're making some crostini right now. And on top of that, it's almost like a tapenade. Color is so important. We've got the red tomato there. We have the black olives. We have the nice olive green. But I want to spring it up a bit. So just adding some basil. And you can even use raspberries. I'm an amazing cook. And they're amazing artists. They're amazing friends. So I just figure, you know what? It's payback time. I'm going to treat them to my favorites, and they love them. They keep coming back for more. I don't like to tell David that he's not a very good cook, but I think we need a little bit of outside help so that our party can be fabulous. David, the owner, is planning on doing all of the catering himself. Hey, how are you? So these are our new friends. Oh, Ezra, yeah. chef, Julie, nutritionist. They're here to help. <laughs> With what? Yeah, Try this. this. Hey, you guys, help yourself. Dig in. I make lots, and not to worry. You have to eat it first. It's bad luck. <laughs> I have more, too. I can make up more. Go. Great. All right. Happy anniversary, Judy's. Woo! You love it. I can tell he loves it already. So you have olives, mint, and raspberries on a toasted Italian bread. No, I have olives, basil, raspberries, and tomato. OK, no, that's that, mint. No, it's not. It's basil. It's mint, David. Green is green. Mint, basil. What's the difference, really? In a meal, it's like, wow, that's refreshing looking. Let me have a bite. As a food stylist, I can't let this behavior go on anymore. So it's great to have them come in and hopefully show David that uh, the what he's been doing is not the way to go. It's a shrimp, asiago, tomato, cilantro. A lot of, oh, shrimp -o. It's sort of, um, hmm. Flavorful. Is it, it looks great. No, is yeah, it, it's, it's right. cooked in lemon. Hang on, hang on. Can I just? I, don't, I am a bit of the expert. Okay, go. I'm not saying you're not. I'm just saying you're touching your food. David, this it's is... raw. No, you cook it in lemon. They love my food. They always come for my food. And now all of a sudden there's some kind of a Judy intervention? And they have these two bullies beating up on me as well. Oh, it's so salty. I can't believe you're feeding your... They said I was trying to poison my clients. Do you think that's good for business? No. You're not really serving this to the clients for it, are you? Yeah, that, yeah. Okay. All right. Maybe we should just hire somebody. Maybe I want to give back to the clients who've supported us over the last 10 years. If my staff don't like it, I have these two people who have no reason to be mean to me. They're saying they don't like it. Okay, maybe there's some truth into what they're saying. You really took a beating in there. No, this is good, right? Yeah. I mean, this is the biggest event since we opened, and there's still time to fix it. I like your presentation. Okay. I think. You know, you need a few more skills. You need to taste your food. It's not the end of the world. It could have been with the shrimp. Right. But we can fix this. So tons of antioxidants. OK, We're going for no. maximum fruit and tons of veg. Sure. I don't think we have veg or antioxidants in the agency. We might have to shop. <laughs> I'm going to take you to my favorite place in the world, a farmer's market. 
Ooh, good. Okay, I'll go to the farmer's market with you, and I'll let my beauty crew take care of you. Finally, fashion at the market. I love that fashion. Look. That looks oh, like him a little. That's extremely kind of you. We bought you something. <laughs> Tomorrow is Judy Ng's 10th anniversary. And what better way to celebrate than to have a cocktail party at the agency? He should keep the appetizer preparation to professionals. It's mint, David. Green is green! Hi, guys. Do you have any whitefish today? Do you like whitefish? I... Not sure. Not sure? I don't even know if I've had it before. Oh, it's delicious. I think he was a little nervous to hit the market and, and hang out with all the granola folk. So sheep cheese is extremely high in protein and all those things we need for energy okay. and making bigger pipes, mm -hmm. you know? Then we need a lot of this. We need <laughs> it takes us hours of preparation to make them look as great as they do. And I think Ezra wasn't really, he didn't really know that at first. And it took hours to make him even look as great as he does. And by the way, Ezra, you look fabulous. But the girls helped. He was like a kid with that honey. Just bite it open and suck it. Woo! <laughs> the other end. It's good. The market was actually great. Food everywhere outside. <laughs> no farm animals, so that was good. Finally, fashion at the market. I love the fashion. Oh, just a love sec. It. Ezra, he's helping me out. Why don't I? Yeah. That looks oh, like him a little. That's extremely kind of you. Let's grab I wonder how he's doing as a model. Modeling. Although the shoot went well, I'm not sure there's a career for him in modeling. Uh, maybe he should just stick to the kitchen. We bought you something. Because I'm a fashion guy, and I know my fashion, and you know your Oh, chefing. you. Okay. Is that me? That's yes. you. Oh, no, yeah. I think it was this. You're yeah, being that kind. Guy. No, I think it was this guy. Can we get some cooking done? Yeah, yeah that's you know? why we're here. Big party tonight. Big party tonight. All right. You need a lot of help. Have you ever had oysters? I think so. They didn't look like that, though. That would break my teeth. We well, do I'm... open them for you. Or yeah. you're going to open them. See this little groove right there? Okay, yeah. That's where we're starting. All right. We cover it with a towel because that... will soak up the blood when you cook it. <laughs> exactly <laughs> that. And we give a little... Ooh. Okay. Okay. It's very See what I've done? You want to give it a shot? Sure. A All shock. Right. You mean a shock? Give it a shock. Where's the hole? Right. Yep. In there? Right in there. Oh my gosh. Cooking is fun. Uh, these two obviously know what they're doing. I'm also a chef, so three people who know what they're doing in the kitchen, this is a good thing. Ah. Yes. Look at that one. Now, why, why is this an aphrodisiac? It's the highest food on the planet for zinc. Full stop. Okay. And every man loses zinc when they have a good time. <laughs> I hope some of it is rubbing off on David, but uh, it's anyone's guess as to whether or not he's going to take anyone's direction. The perfect pairing for oysters is champagne. Nice! And we're having champagne tonight, right? Absolutely. Okay, so let's make a topping that incorporates champagne. Green grapes, cut them in quarters. We have some red seedless grapes. Okay. Some shallots. Love shallots. Okay. Mm -hmm. And champagne vinegar. You can lose up to four pounds a month if you make sure to have lots of vinegar in your first course. Oh, okay. Serious? Yeah, it's incredible. <laughs> and a little extra virgin olive oil. A little chopped parsley. That's cool when you do that. Yeah. You're like, I can, it's not it, even looking. I can even do it while I'm gazing into your eyes. <laughs> I think it's the apron. <laughs> we just put a little bit on each one. Now, instead of parsley, can we use mint? Yeah, you can use whatever herbs what? tickle your fancy. Our first hors d'oeuvre is done. Beautiful, looks Beautiful. lovely. Do you want a taste one? Yep. So good. Wait till you taste it with champagne. Oh, I bet. Awesome. And now we'll just pour this over the fish and let it cook. Oh, it's, it's like sea monkey. white. You add water. <laughs> no. No. Let's just hope there's no raw shrimp. Duh. Duh.